Hey guys, welcome back. I'm your favorite Sharmada, back again with a new video. So in this video, I'm going to answer all of your most commonly and frequently asked questions on MIT Manipal. So freshers and juniors, please stay tuned till the end of the video. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm Sharmata studying in MIT Manipal, a fourth year student in mechatronics department. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. The first and the most common question is, is there any ragging in MIT Manipal campus? So the simple and straightforward answer to this question is no. So there's no ragging in MIT at all. So it's a ragging, it's a 100% ragging free campus. Seniors are really, really helpful. There is also a rule where the seniors are not supposed to interact with the juniors for the first three months of the first semester. So freshers and juniors, you need not worry about that at all. And I hope it helps. The second most common question is about food. How is the hostel food in MIT Manipal? So there are many, many food courts in MIT. There are like FC1, FC2, Apurva, uh, Annapurna, and there are two more, two to three more food courts in MIT. The food is average, basic, it's edible, and you can't expect home food, but it's okay, it's edible. FC2 has the best food of all, and FC1 has the, okay, average food of all. So I hope this one helps. So the third question is about MIT dress code. What is the dress code in MIT campus? So academic area has the dress code, whereas in the hostels you can wear whatever you want and however you want. So academic area includes the library, the IB1, IB2, IB3, IB4, IB5, and also the Kanadi building. Okay, what is that? Uh, innovation center, yeah. So uh, the dress code is simple, guys. You can wear you can wear whatever you want as long as it looks presentable, girls. Particularly, you're not supposed to wear crop tops and torn jeans. And boys, same goes for you guys as well. You, you can't wear torn jeans and also you can't wear track pants and trousers inside the academic area. I hope this is clear. But you can wear whatever you want. You can wear chudidas, you can wear jeans, you can wear any fashionable clothes, but not too revealing. I hope you guys get it. Fourth question, a lot of people ask me the same question in the DMs on my Instagram page. What type of room, I mean, what type of hostel room should I choose? AC room or non-AC room? From my point of view, it's a personal choice, but I'll just explain you the weather conditions of Manipal so that you can choose whatever you want to, AC or non-AC. So in the odd semesters, that is between the months of August and December, the weather is mostly chill and, you know, nice. It's it will be raining most of the time. Even if it is not raining, you can bear the heat. Like it is not too sunny or not too hot and humid. But in the even semesters, in the summers, especially between the years of, I mean, between the months of March to March, April, May, June, July, March to June, it is really hot and humid. That is that is just for like a period of two to three months, which where the temperature is very high. If you can manage those three months either in the library or in the academic section where there is AC 24 hours, then you can very well just go for non-AC rooms considering the fact that non-AC rooms are not really pricey and they are much affordable. So if you are someone who is not even used to live in the non-AC rooms, then you can better opt for AC rooms. I hope you understood what I'm trying to say. Uh, and at the end of the day, it's just a personal preference. So whatever you feel comfortable, you can just go for it. But if you ask me personally, I would just go for non-AC rooms considering the fact that I will spend most of my time in the library sleeping or studying during the summers. The fifth question is about the student projects in MIT Manipal. The question is basically, should I join student projects in my first year of the college? Uh, so I would just say, Yes, so student projects is very, very difficult. Getting into a student project is also very difficult because you have to give a written test, then you have to attend an interview, and then you will be put on for a period of six months where you will be like a testing phase where you, whether the where the seniors will analyze if you are eligible to be a part of student projects. You have to clear that uh, phase and then only you can be a part of a student project. And uh, you have to know how to balance the academics and student projects because Morning you will have classes, then afternoon you will have labs, and then in the evenings you have to go to student projects which will which will prolong till 9, 9.30 sometimes. So you should have such a commitment 
to be a part of student projects the pros of being a student project is you will gain a lot of knowledge and exposure and it will be highly highly helpful during the time of placements i was not in a student project because i was not knowledgeable enough and i was not ready for such commitments so if you are someone who's damn into engineering and you you really want to explore such things just go for a student project which attracts you the most i'll definitely do a detailed video on different types of student projects that is available on mit campus i'll make a i'll make a video on it very soon yeah so i feel like the video is getting too long but there are a few more questions which are piled up so i thought to make a part 2 of the same video so if you guys were watching this video stay tuned and subscribe to my channel for more videos on this and juniors and freshers or anyone who's having any doubts on mit manipal campus please feel free to comment it down on the comment section and i will definitely answer all of your queries so wait for the part 2 of the same video i'll meet you guys soon in the next video i'll then tell you bye bye see you guys love you loads subscribe to my channel for more videos like this